So today we have got some more returns from MGC Grading Company in the UK. Now I've sent some stuff off to them before and I did a full review. So um, I'll put a card up here or up here or wherever it pops up after editing. But let's get straight to it and see what grades we get. <laughs> So welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here, please subscribe, I, just do it, just do it. I'm stuttering now because I'm trying to think of, to give you a reason to subscribe, but the only reason is, is just, you know, like, if you like the content, subscribe, I, I like it, other people like it, so why the fuck don't you like it? Damn! Anyway, let's see what we've got from MGC today and of course, of course, we're going to open up some Pokemon cards after we've had a look. And now these just aren't Pokemon cards. These are a mixture of, um, uh, there's a few wrestling cards. There might be a football card, a Power Ranger card. So there's a little bit of everything for every one. But the big boys are the Pokemon cards, obviously. I can't remember all of the cards that I've sent off. I don't know if there is any big ones or um, mainly small ones. Right, anyway, I lost my trail of thought because my wife walked in. Um, but you didn't see that bit. But maybe I'll do a blooper reel video at some point And just do a whole playlist of me being a twat and fucking things up. Right, anyway. So let's get straight into the cards. Now, the slabs have changed slightly. So let's take a look. We've got two stacks here. I've seen a couple of the grades because I had to unwrap them if I didn't unwrap them the video would take a lot longer to shoot and we we don't want that so we've just got two stacks um, I can't remember what all the cards are but it's pretty obvious that these ones here are gonna be wrestling but we're gonna start with the stack that starts with Pokemon now the difference between these slabs and the ones that I've had previously are that the cards fit better so they now have different measurements on their slabs and i have got another slab to compare but they've got different measurements so that the pokemon cards don't need to be sleeved and they fit perfectly i guess but we'll we'll have a look but they have now mgc released m more stuff on their slabs so the even these ones are out of date um so i, I don't know maybe some of the big ones some of the tens if i get any I will send back up. Uh, well, I will send back to them to get re-slabbed in their new slab. But anyway, we've got uh, another batch coming back. So if we get a few tens, then we'll see what they're like next month. Anyway, right. First card is. Oh, here we go. So it is the base set War Turtle. It is a six. Not expecting anything crazy from these base set cards, just because of how old they are and they're not pack fresh. But I'll take a six any day. But you can see here that how fitted the cards are so I'll just move this stack out the way and we can have a look at this card here so if we look closely you can see there's a little gap here um, and I don't mind that because I'm not going to be throwing these about and stuff so I, I mean it's fine for me but a card like this which did get a 10 and it's one of my favorite cards that I have in my collection I know it's not a big one but it's a big one for me uh, I might get re-slabbed maybe but I'm happy with a six for the War Turtle from the base set. Great card. And yeah, six seems absolutely fine. Let's move on to the next one. And we've got another base set. We've got a Ninetales uh, Hollow. This was out of um, Pokemon Burnham's mystery box that we did on the channel. It was a, I won a raffle. It was a £100 mystery box. Go check it out. And this was there in one of the mystery packets. And I'm very happy with the six with a nine tails. I actually have a nine tails with PSA at the moment as well, which I don't think will get a six. I think it might get um, something a bit worse since uh, it looked a lot more played with than this. And this got a six, but very, very sexy looking old card. What is next? Oh, we got the Milkery. So this is more like a meme card for my channel because what do we usually call it? A droplet of cum. Sorry, sorry about that, but it's true. If you watch my shorts, you know that that is how we describe Milkery, and it, it just does. It's a baby shiny. It got an eight. I've noticed that a lot of the baby shinies don't grade high. Um, I think that's due to um, surfaces more than anything, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, there's a scratch there, but I think that's just on this um, on this bag. But anyway, I'm fine. 
I'm fine with an eight. That's not for sale. Right, let's go. We've got some generations. We've got a Leafy on EX with an eight. This is an absolute beauty of a card. I think I have a few more evolutions from generations on here. One of my favorite sets of all time. I'm hoping that um, celebrations can live up to the generation set, which I think it will. I think it's going to smash out of the water. But just look at that. Look at that card. Look at that green boy. Leafy on EX smashing it. Oh, oh. So we've got a SmackDown card, WWF SmackDown. We opened these cards up on the channel when we did our trading cards from the 90s. Spoiler alert, they weren't all from the 90s, but we had a few SmackDown cards to open. Um, and what did we get? We got a six. I see a theme. I see a theme uh, starting to uh, appear. So, yeah, this is from the 1999 duo cards, WWF The Rock from the WWF SmackDown set. Um, I'm not expecting high grades from these, but they're just, they're just fucking cool. Just really cool. And these fit really well as well. Um, I don't think they have sports card measurements. Uh, I think it's just a coincidence maybe that the card fits in the slab so well. But they definitely have remeasured for Pokemon cards. What have we got next? Oh, we've got a Celebi Amazing Rare from Vivid Voltage. It's got a 9. Okay, I'm happy with that. I love these amazing rares. For some reason, they just scream old school to me, even though they are, you know, quite new. Um, and they've got a real contemporary look to them. They just scream old school. And I love a Celebi. I wish they would do more cards with Celebi in modern packs, if I'm honest. Um, but this just looks fantastic. And we'll take a 9. We'll take a nine all day. And then here we go. We've got the Black Star promo from this is a Generations promo. Um, I think, I think, is it a Generations promo? Yeah, I think it is. And it got a seven. Always expect a low grade off of these promos from 2016. Because as a lot of us know, the quality wasn't amazing. We did get, um, we did get a get graded nine on a Blastoise, Mega Blastoise from Evolution. So I, th I was, I was super super chuffed with that but we've got the venusaur ex black star promo 2016 fucking banging card you've got a scyther down here as well fantastic right on to the next stack so we've got smackdown card this is as you can see the rock at a photo shoot he's just at a photo shoot chilling as he does because he is the fucking rock and here we go look at him how dreamy he is back in the 90s and this got a six Okay, exactly the same as the last card. It still looks it looks super clean, but you know, on these on these cards, their edges are just so fucked up as you can see. And they weren't weren't really made with quality in mind, I don't think. But I just think it's an awesome card to get graded. Like it very much. Looks so 90s. Looks like he's chilling out in Hawaii or somewhere. Oh, we've got a football card. So this is the first football card that we've had graded on the channel. I'm not a massive fan of football. I like to play FIFA in my spare time. That's about as far as my football knowledge goes. And I know a bit about 90s football because that is when I was a child and I watched football. And that was when we had the greats playing. Like this guy right here. So this is an Alan Shearer card. He um, He's from Newcastle and he is an absolute legend uh, playing for Newcastle United when he did. I think he's still the top scorer of the Premiership at the moment. And as you can see, it is signed. I picked it up on eBay and this is his rookie card. This was when he signed for Southampton and this was his first Premiership um, contract uh, from 1991. It got a six, very happy with that. And it is autographed, it's been authenticated. now. I did ask MGC to authenticate the autograph for me and they said they would charge me between 10 and 20 pounds but I've had no charge and if you are watching MGC let me know how much it was I know I've asked a few times and it's kind of like you haven't said anything which I really really appreciate but if it costs you extra money let me pay the extra money but this is for my private collection, absolutely. It is his signature. Now, it's not hard to get an Alan Shearer signature, but I think it is hard to definitely get his rookie card for Southampton um, autographed from the Pro Set 1991. Really happy with that. Look how short their shorts were in the 90s, eh? Early 90s. Wow. Wow. Right, back onto Pokemon, which we all love. Now let's go. Right, Vaporeon EX, another Evolutions from Generations. Love these cards. Just look at the design on these. 
these EX cards are really, really something special. Really something special. Vaporeon, you know, one of the OGs as well. Love it. Next up, we have Celebi, another Black Star promo for 2016. It got a seven. Did the, uh, did the, uh, yeah, so the Venusaur or Venusaur got a seven as well. But this is from the Generations, the mythical boxes that they released monthly. So I did pick up a box monthly and then open them in 2020. And now they're worth like £85 each. So wah, 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 especially when the uh, promos are not grading very well at all. Maybe I should have kept them sealed. But hey, you know, things happen. <laughs> we can't dwell on that, can we? We had a lot of fun opening them, me and the wife and the, and the child. And this promo is just fantastic promo as well. But for some reason, these promos, they do look a little bit washed out. But I don't know if that was the style they were going for. But it's a Celebi. I'll take a slabbed up Celebi any day. Right, here we go. Another Flareon EX from the Radiant Collection and Generations. And it got an 8. Now, I think this is the fourth one we've graded on the channel. I've been super lucky to be able to pull. Um, I think I've pulled six of these. Um, from generation packets in the past and they've all hit nines with get graded and this one has hit an eight now I Am very interested in how different companies grade their cards and I think we're gonna have to break into a few slabs or send a few slabs off to different people But I think yeah, I think the surfaces aren't great on this. I can see a line down here um, excuse the light. I can see a line down here, but I don't know if that's on the card or if that's Yeah, I think it is on the card But anyway, we've got an eight another Flareon EX to add to the collection We actually gave one of the Flareon EXs away as part of our competition. I think it was our was it our first or second graded competition um, giveaway which I gave two cards away and you know the the winners were very very happy with what they got and we've got another Evolutions, which is Jolteon EX. This is a fantastic card. I would have loved these in 10s, obviously, um, because they do they do really well uh, in PSA 10 anyway. But just again, just look at the shine on these EXs from 2016. They're just fantastic how they're just punching out of the card with all the electricity. God, so that's an 8. So all of our, all of our Evolutions, let's have a look. All of our evolutions been eight. So we've got an eight there, an eight there, an eight there. See if we can find the Leafeon. We've got an eight there. So I mean, at least they all match, right? At least they all match. They've so got eight, eight, eight. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Right, so we have a Power Rangers card. So this is the Green Ranger. This is from the new season, not from the packets, not from the the Power Ranger video that we did from the season one cards. This is from the new season that was in the cards from the 90s. Um, great, great mix of trading cards. If you're into just random trading cards, then get involved. Have a look. Check it out because it's pretty fucking awesome. But this is the Green Ranger and we've got an eight. Happy with that. It is from 1994. The Green Ranger. Love the Green Ranger. Good old Tommy. Um, it's a very simple card. It's not hollow or anything. I just think it looks great. It looks very Super Sentai. It looks very green screen, very 90s, very nostalgic for me. Uh, and I just love the style. You know, this is his armor and you can just tell how spongy it is. That it's not going to protect him from shit. Lucky it's magic, right? Next up, last one from Fossil. We have a 1999 Fossil Muck. Not a first edition, but we also got this from Pokemon Burnham. It's a mystery box. And I'm happy for it to get a seven. I would expect a six. But, you know, it is hollow. Very, very dull hollow. But, you know, this is how the cards were done back then. And it looks fucking cool. I like this a lot. Very happy with the grades that I've got for the older cards. Because, you know, they've been knocking about. Yeah, they've probably been sleeved up. But we, we move them about over the years, don't we? So... It's it, it, it's just how it is. It just it's just how it is, guys. All right. So I mean, we've got some. We haven't got any tens, but we have got some decent grades. We got one nine for our Celebi, and we've just got we've got older cards. That's the thing. When you, for me anyway, when I'm grading cards for my collection, I'm 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 grading it to get it slabbed up for my nostalgia, so it doesn't get damaged. And if we're hitting eights and sevens and nines. I'm absolutely happy with that because they're not going anywhere. 
but um, but I tell you what, when I'm grading cars that I want to sell, if I'm not getting tens, I'm a little bit thrown off and it takes a little bit longer to sell them and obviously for a lot less money if i'm honest right anyway that's enough about grading cards thank you very much mgc for the graded cards and the great service as usual but we are now going to open some pokemon cards and we are going to open one of these tins we like to open these tins on the channel i've bought quite a few of them over the past couple of months and they are being saved for our graded cards so let's get it open we have got the dog with the sword now these tins, I think, have got two Rebel Clash, one Sword and Shield, and one Evolutions. And the last one we opened on a video, we hit Charizard, Holo Charizard. So we've got the promo. Once again, anyone wants any of these, uh, any of these promos that I get out these tins, I've got so many of them. Give me an email. My email is um, on my account, and just let me know which ones you want, and I'll send them out to you. No problem at all. Co-card. There you go. Yeah. Rebel Clash. Oh. Rebel Clash. Sword and Shield. It's getting harder to get them out. Sword and Shield. And Evolutions. we got the Blastoise boy today. So we'll start off with the Rebel Clash. Who ha has now been overtaken by Battle Styles as my worst set ever. Oh. Go. Wow. Made a right fuck up of that, didn't I? There we go. So what I found also is if we get hits on Rebel Clash, we don't get hits on Evolutions, I'm afraid. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. Right, we've got Skylar. Electrode. Zatu. Rolly Collie. Applin. Hatina. Magico -co -co Meditate. Pidov. Smelly fucking pigeon and a Bolton. Oh, is that a full art? Yes, we've got the Bolton V full art. Fucking get in. We like that a lot. God, we're taking that. We're taking that as first pack magic. Well, bottoms up. Ron, how many drops of wolf spin extract did you use? Uh, like three. <laughs> Wicked. Awesome. We'll pop that to the side. So we've got a hit, got a hit from this tin, but I don't think it. I, I don't think we're going to get a hit from um, evolutions. If I'm honest, I think we're going to, you know, I think we fulfilled our hits on the Rebel Clash. Unfortunately, Dreepy, Magma, love this artwork. You know, it's Rebel Clash, Twin Energy. And a uh, Vicar Vault, hollow, rare, whatever. Next up, Sword and Shield. Now, I quite like the Sword and Shield base, if I'm honest. There you go. Four from the back. Are we going to get here? Uh, Reboot, Lumberry, Silicobra, Vulpix, Muna, Rosalia. Reverse Holo Rhyhorn and a Morpeko V. Morpeko V. I think that's the same as um, the promo card, isn't it? Is it the promo card for Champions Path or whatever? Right, on to the big one. On to the big one. We are on to the Blastoise Evolutions. We've got Psychic Energies right there. So three from the back to the front. Let's go. We've got a Trainer. Nidorino. Energy. Energy. Pikachu, Growlithe, Machop, Nidoran. Oh, we've got a Nido King break and a Farfetch. Awesome. We've got a break card. Not a massive fan of these, but that is definitely a hit. Now we've got three hits in this box, and the Nido King is in the break is in the reverse hollow spot. We've got a break card that is definitely a hit. Definitely a hit. And um, we'll be sleeving that up. And I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it, if I'm honest. Centering is fucking shocking. So, so bad. So bad. Is it meant to be like that? Surely not. Nah. Obviously fucking not. Look at the state of it. 
obviously its evolutions. But anyway, that was my second returns from MGC. We have got some more returns coming from MGC and Pokegrade. Decided to give Pokegrade another shot and I'm really excited. I sent off a load of Evolving Skies stuff to them just to help them fill up their um, you know, population records with all kind of like bigger cards. I only sent off like full arts and alt arts and what have you um, and full art trainers fucking fantastic set make sure you check out my other videos my other shorts for all of the evolving skies openings i've been doing i've been chris that was pokemon and wrestling and football but anyway that's neither here nor there have a fantastic day bye